one head of Major League Baseball locks has been the talk of the internet. When Mariners infielder Taylor Motter lost his helmet during a slide into second base earlier this month, he flipped his Fabio-like hair while standing back up. Now, Motter's flow has been made into countless GIFs, and we didn't forget to show him some of the more creative ones. That's, a, that's pretty deep, and then they got the little space needle in the background there, too. Manager Scott Service had only one thing to say about Motter's famous mane. Yeah. What would happen if we happened to cut that hair? Motter has been growing out his hair since 2012. Before coming to Seattle, he was with the Tampa Bay Rays, who made him keep his hair short. When I was there, except for last year, it was clean shave, oh. pants up, off the shoulders hair. However, with Seattle, Motter has been able to let his hair down. Literally. I think they should be who they are. If that's who he is, then we're good with that. Along with the hair, Motter has also grown out his facial hair as well, which he keeps for a specific purpose. The beard is so-so. I, I feel like if I keep the beard, people can look at me when I turn around and know I'm a guy. When it comes to product, Motter is a simple man. Uh, I don't really put too much like product product in it when I'm going out or anything. I kind of just brush it and go. He doesn't believe his hair affects his game, but what it does affect is his swagger. The appearance is not going to affect the baseball player. The baseball player is going to be the baseball player. As long as he's comfortable, I think he's going to be a better baseball player. Does anyone on the team have better hair? No. Maybe Gamble. I get, I get Gamble a lot around here for autographs. Motter hasn't experimented with a bandana yet, but it's something he's searching for. Hopefully Motter will have a lucky bandana picked out by opening day. In Peoria, Gabe Mercer, Cronkite News.